This is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. In this video, I'm going to give a quick demo on how you can add in a column which brings back the name of any level above a task which is in your project plan, your schedule, or anything else that has indented rows and hierarchies. So let's dive in and see what I mean. So in this case, I've got a time plan and I want to see all the items that are in the various stages. So let me just collapse down this project and I'm going to Collapse all, and you can see that I've got a variety of stages, initiation, design, develop, launch prep, and launch and learn. So within this one, I want to see every task that appears within beneath this item here, I want it to have the name of that stage. Again, so if you're managing a stage gate process, this is very useful, and it can go into any reporting, but this can be used in multiple ways. So let's have a look and see how this is happening. So I'm going to collapse all. In fact, what I'm trying to do is I'm going to Expand all instead. Right, so let's go into this bit and see what is happening within the formula. So within this formula, I'm gonna go down a level here. So within the formula, it's looking at the ancestors and when it says ancestors, so items which are higher up in the hierarchy and it's looking at that and looking at the task name column and saying to it, well, I want you to come back with a result of any of the um, item which is at level two. So one is the item right at the top. So anchor here will be level one. So if I just put in level one, for example, enter, you'll see it comes back with anchor. If I put in level two, and I'll just go and edit that again, it's gonna come back with a second level, which is the stage. And if I go in and put in level three, in this case, it's gonna go come back with a task above, which is change management. So here you can have columns for the various items if you need either the project name or if you need the the stage name or if you need the sub task name etc so you can have multiple columns depending on and i've used it in many different scenarios but in this case i just want the stage name so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into that one and for the stage name i'm going back to level two so let me enter that now if i turn this to a column formula there's going to be a problem because if I go to the stages themselves, this will not work. Reason being that if I just go up and show you how it's not gonna work. So the reason is, it's gonna have an invalid value. Reason being because it can't, this level, level two, doesn't have, it can't be an ancestor of itself. So what do I do in this case? I put in an error, if error solution, and what I ask it to do is then just return the value of that same cell. So in here, I'm just gonna add in if error, open brackets, it then runs this formula here, but if it hits an error, I that doesn't work, then I'm gonna ask it just to put in the cell level. So task name at row, and I'm gonna press enter, and it comes back with develop. So what does that mean if I go up to anchor at the top? So by putting this one in here, let me just come back out. <clears throat> well, that formula's already in. You can see it's got the if error, put the task name at row. So now what I can do is I can turn this to be a column formula. This formula is now applied to everything. And so all the tasks throughout this um, project time plan will always have the right stage name. Again, it's a real solution. And in the past, I've had to come up with complex formulas before I realized that this is actually the perfect solution. Very simple, quick and easy solution. So hope that's been useful. Again, more tips to follow on formulas and how you can save time and come up with more elegant plans and use SmartSheet more efficiently. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.